Hi friends! Welcome back to our read aloud channel for kids, a little book nook. Today we will read aloud Billy and the Brilliant Bubble, book by Tara Trabiaso. This read aloud is how to explain about social distancing for children. This read aloud book for kids helps families to teach their children the importance of social distancing. I hope you enjoy this book and take a moment to check out our vast audiobooks library. This is Billy. One day, Billy was at her favorite place, the park, swinging as she watched the beautiful butterflies nearby. A kickball rolled towards her. Two children walked over to pick it up. Hello, I'm Billy, she said with a friendly smile. Hi, Billy, I'm Carly, and this is my brother Cameron. Cameron continued to walk towards the ball, which continued to roll toward Billy. I can help you with your ball, Billy said. Please stay there and I will kick it to you so I don't pop my bobble. Bobble? What bobble? Cameron asked curiously. Um, Billy, we don't see a bobble, Carly said. Well, technically, it's imaginary, <laughs> Billy giggled, but it's there. Why do you have an imaginary bubble, Cameron asked. Billy happily told her new friends about her bubble. Each morning, when I leave my house, I step into my bubble. It keeps me clean, safe, and germ-free during the day. When I go home, I step out of my bubble and wash my hands. Do you like bubbles? Of course we do. I love to blow bubbles, Carly said. I like to pop bubbles, Cameron added. The children laughed as they thought about the last time they blew bubbles. Cameron was curious and wanted to know more. What can you do in a bubble? Billy was eager to continue sharing. Being inside a bubble doesn't keep me from doing anything, really. It just means that I keep a little more distance from other people when I'm not home. I can play outside. I can play inside. I even go to parties in my bubble. Are you allowed to take your bubble to school? asked Carly. Oh yes, I sure am. I also take it to dance lessons, restaurants, and the beach. Most importantly, the bubble keeps me and all the people around me healthy. You see, any germs that I have stay in my bubble, so I don't get anyone else sick. And the germs that other people have stay outside my bubble, so they don't get me sick. Carly nodded her head. That makes sense. It reminds me of when mom told us to wave goodbye to Aiden and Sage instead of hugging them. Do you remember that, Cameron? Oh yeah, that's right, Cameron replied. Or when my teacher reminds us to stay six feet apart when we walk to the library. He added, germs are yucky and make us sick. I stopped sucking my thumb so I don't get germs in my mouth. But don't you get sad when you can't hug your mommy or daddy? I hug my family all the time. When we go home, we pop our bubbles and wash our hands. Then we can safely hug each other. And when everyone is healthy, we have grandma and grandpa over so we can hug them too. I wish I could have a bubble, Carly whispered quietly. You can, Carly. My mommy taught me how to make bubbles for other people. Would you like one? Carly quickly replied, Pretty please with sugar on top. I'd like one too, please, Cameron chimed in. Then Billy zippered an imaginary zipper in front of Carly. From her head down to her toes, Step in! Carly stepped into the bubble one foot at a time. This is fun, she said with a chuckle. Then it was Cameron's turn. 
As he stepped in, he pretended to touch the top of his new bubble. Billy, it's time to go, honey bunches. Oh, that's my mom calling me. I have to go now, but I hope we can play again another day, Billy said to her new friends. We do too. Thank you for telling us about your imaginary bubble, Cameron said. Now we can stay healthy like you. The children smiled as they waved goodbye from their bubbles.